The Chamber's 20th Century Dictionary defines tomboy as a high-spirited, romping girl. But that feisty tomboy spirit is not limited to young girls. Doris Haddock, Granny D, was 88 years old when she took to the road in support of campaign finance reform. Is this what a tom old lady looks like? I think that you have to be aware of what is going on in your world. Focus your mind on something else, something bigger than yourself. My husband died in 93, and then my oldest and dearest friend died. When she died, I became very despondent. I no longer had a husband. I no longer had the dearest friend. My son said, I'm going on a trip to Florida, and I'd like you to come along with me. So on that trip, we were in the middle of Florida uh, between towns, long between towns, and we saw this old man walking along the road, a cane in one hand and a bag, bag in the other. And I said, what is that old man doing out here? There's no, been no town and there's none coming up. I was holding the map and my son said, oh, he's on the road. I said, on the road? You mean like Willie Nelson on the road again? He said, yeah, like that, like Jack Carroway. I said, well, I'd like to walk across the country. He said, why? He said, you can't do it unless you have a cause. I said, oh, but I have a cause. He said, oh, my God. You mean campaign finance reform? And I said, that's just what I mean. So he put me into a series of Herculean tasks to prove to him that my 88-year-old body could take it. And so I taught myself to sleep on the ground in the sleeping bag, and I taught myself to get by on trail mix for two or three days if I needed to, walking 10 miles a day, six days a week, carrying a 25-pound pack on my back. Nine months I had convinced him. He said, oh, well, you can't fight him, join them. And he did, and he's helped me ever since. <laughs> Carl. How are you doing? Oh, Too fast? <laughs> okay. I'm most proud of having finished the job, having gone the 3,200 miles and, uh, and into Washington and uh, saying I did it. I mean, I can't tell you hanging around with girls how many times during the day girls were told shh don't say that and girls were told people won't appreciate it and it was called unpleasant and it was called rude how do you preserve a spirit when it can't be above ground you know you look for places and it's usually with a woman who will engage with them directly, who will speak to them in her honest voice, not in the, quote, good woman voice. If I have offended you speaking this way on your front steps, that is as it should be. <laughs> You have offended America, and you have dishonored the best things it stands for. Take your wounded pride, get off your backs and onto your feet, and go across the street to clean your room. <laughs> somewhere on your desks under the love letters from your greedy friends and co-conspirators against representative democracy. A modest bill against soft money. Pass it. Yeah. Well, I don't think of myself as a very important person, but they tell me that they feel that I have made a big difference. Thank you.